Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single soldier permission. As always, when we're being attacked with the Avenger, this is now the fourth time, or respectively the second time that we're getting shot down, you can't feel the single soldier, so it needs to be one per squad, uh, which uh, brings us to Roby and uh, Scythe both um, running through this very mission. Let's take a small peek. The environment itself here is absolute shit for us. Like these vision blockages, oh, that's really bad. We got two towers here, two towers here. Only three cover is almost on this side of the map. Meaning, whatever we're doing, it needs to happen on the right hand side of the map. That's the first pack, Captain plus what appears to be three, three um, troopers. I don't think that two towers can just handle it. We need run and gun once they get into cover. So let's try an overwatch trap and wait for the Chosen to appear. I am really not looking forward to fight the Assassin again. It's going to be a very unpleasant experience. There we go. Okay, our biggest problem, immune to explosion and revealing concealed units. Uh, the summoning part is also bad, but the other parts are even worse. Gotta be careful, guys. So, two turns until she will be here. Luckily, our Overwatch at least somewhat dealt some damage. Okay, let's try to execute those guys here. Good. The idea is we're just optimizing the damage that we can uh, that we can deal because these two towers here won't hit anything. Target preview is not correct. Could have told you that in advance. Come on. He's almost down. There we go. They die as warriors, as great a death as one could hope for. Stepping off. Moving up. We need untouchable and placeable. Wait, we got, we got a hair trigger. Okay, well that's cute. Okay, I'll go. Okay, good news. We completely wrecked the first pack. Not so good news. Uh, the Chosen's on her way, and I don't think that she will attack this round. She's not cl uh, close enough. We got untouchable at the moment, so it would be a perfect timing. Yeah, but like I said, not happening.
I'll be there soon. This is not a bad position because the Chosen will come for us. Good to go. And it will start to move in, meaning it will pass our um, Reaper. The Reaper will, will spot it out, so it can't use its sword to attack. Just gotta think where will the Chosen eventually head in? She now has enough movement to, to reach us. But she hasn't done so. Interesting. Overwatch. Remember, she's not immune to Overwatch. There we go. Spotted her out. The time has come to end this struggle once and for all. Your Avenger will fall today. The Chosen is in position. Come on, move. Put it down. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of hit points. Shit. Well, good news. We did a lot of damage. And we do have Untouchable. <laughs> we do have Untouchable because we killed uh, the Berserk. Hilarious. Alright, that's perfect because we can kill it, get untouchable again, and wait for the Chosen another turn. No, no, not Overwatch. Why did I Overwatch? Oh my god, that was a stupid mistake. Roby is not immune. Yeah. Should have just taken the kill, really. Anyways, when she comes in, she at least gets four overwatch shots. That's a fact. There will be no All right, come on in. The tower can revive Roby. <laughs> I've never seen a tower reviving someone. Hilarious. Okay, once again, we don't know where she is, but if we move, she can, she can spot us out, and we don't want that to happen. Only thing that I could see is she might hide behind the car. That clearly hasn't been the case. Alright, she needs to come out. She got her beast ability on cooldown Harbor Wave, which means her, her only other cooldown is uh, the blinding grenade, which she's probably going to use now. Are you shitting me? Placing 
explosive. We're going to be spotted out anyways. This here should shred her. Yep, nicely, nicely done. Not sure why she isn't spotting us out. There can be no mercy. <laughs> well, our superior repeater has, I would say, paid for itself. That is a clean one hit. The assassin, in this case, is indeed our reaper. <laughs> that is just hilarious, guys. I'm, just, I'm having a lot of fun at the moment. A couple of things that we learned, or that I learned out of the encounter, apparently if she um, vanishes and teleports, it, the new teleportation will not uncover um, any non-moved uh, reaper. So kind of the same mechanic is with um, the poison clouds um, if you're standing in a poison cloud but you're not poisoned you will not become poisoned unless you're moving and so that's number one that I learned number two that I learned is apparently she can be executed quite easily not that I didn't know that beforehand but it's just good to validate your your beliefs again and I find it refreshing to see how the Chosen learned that one can instantly die with an execution. Yeah, we got to deal with the with the big gun now. This is getting out of hand. Inacceptable. Okay, let's just agree we don't want to be spotted out. Wow, that's a nasty pack. Look at that. Andromedon, two elite specters. <sighs> Another nasty pack. That's like what? Two Archons and an elite specter. What the actual heck? Can we take uh, take that on? I mean, it's far away, right? They will come closer. What's the alternative? Mutants? Yeah, let's start with the mutants. I mean, why not? If we hit something, great. If not, pff, who cares? There we go. Nice little crit. No, we don't want to pull another pack. My concern is the mutant might spot her out. Good, we're overwatching. Keep our 
down to 200. That's going to be a nice um, claymore. But before we do that, first things first, we, we will engage with them. Okay, idea is we're taking care of this one first. Luckily, some of our towers are able to hit it. Alright, we're just going to finish uh, the big gun. The rest is much more slow paced. The big gun usually takes 80 or inflicts 80 damage, the smaller vehicles way less than that. Oh, look at that, three sectors. Cover me, I'm reloading. There you go. Seize any advantage. Done. Good work out there. The generator is down. Done. Cannon is disabled. Now we just need to mop up the remaining enemy forces. Okay, got to be careful now and slowly but surely just stabilize all of that. We're having a few enemies on the left hand side and we're going to start with them. Can't like do all of the enemies at once. There are still four more packs, sometimes relatively difficult packs alive. Five packs because there is obviously a gatekeeper. Yeah, we're going to have some issues with the remaining packs, mainly because we will not have a really good line of sight. And our defense matrix is by far the strongest like force to be reckoned with. Wow, th are you kidding me? Three elite specters? Imagine they all have shadow form and we have no counterplay. This is going this is this is going to suck so much. A delicate placement. I mean the only th only reason why 
I am using the other claymore now is this pack here is just absolutely insane Gotta clean up with some of the specters. Nice. That is one down. And move up to here, kill this guy and drop back down. I think that's the most sensible um, line of play. We are in a tough spot guys. Uh, this is just one billion hit points that we're fighting against. going to get hit and they are hitting hard told you one turret down shit these enemies are not to be trifled with Can kill the mutant with one shot. Let's see if we can get the Andromedon. I figured that might be a problem. Hmm, I do have an idea. What's over there? Can't do anything against the Andromedon up there. I can certainly injure him. If we're critting, it's even going to look worse for him. Yep. So that's in kill range. Shoo. Let's kill this guy. No. Non crit minimum damage and reveal. Oh my gosh. At least we're in full cover. They are going to trigger Bladestorm. 
We can't kill him. He's probably going to just really shoot in our face. Yep, that's the damage that we take. Fortunately, Shadowbound, I, I was hoping uh, that the Andromedon would act first. I was hoping the Andromedon would act first, but the Spectre sleazy weaseled his way through. It's going to be a melee attack, which might miss, but destroys the stone. No, it hits, and that means we're in the open. The mutant could finish us. It's maybe a GG. One hit point, oh my gosh. Reloading on the spot, we need to kill the Spectre in order to revive Roby. Roby's blocking the way, and his blade storm should kill. Told you, it's gonna be very, very close. Without the tower um, and their cover, we're in a tough spot. Go for Roby. But at least he takes another uh, another blade storm. We are so close to death. <laughs> nice, nice execute. It was necessary because we would have killed it with uh, Bladestorm anyways. And we ha had Untouchable. So uh, that was necessary, but still. Good call. Oh my gosh. It's just sinking in how close this campaign was to a game over. I definitely need to upgrade Roby a little bit. 
if he's going to do these defense missions, or I need to have Hogbite for the for the Avenger defense missions. I mean, having the Reaper is all nice and and pretty okay. My main concern is as long as we're not having the defense matrix, this here is just getting so, so much more ugly. Okay, we're re-stealthing and reloading. I will not heal her because it doesn't make any difference if she's at one hit point or five. She's a one hit anyways. Roby instead heals himself. Because that will make the difference between one or two hits. I would like to tr at least try shooting some of. Oh, yeah, maybe we're starting with the uh, with the cars first. Is there someone standing right next to it? No, so we're waiting until that happens. We're still having three packs. Two of them are standing right next to these things here. And effectively one of them is a gate gatekeeper pack. A little bit further down the road. Thirty percent is not that low, so it was just a matter of time until we hit him. Alright, starting with a mech. Again, we're just moving all the way back here. I want another round of attacking them without being counter-attacked. And so far they don't know where we're coming from. We're pretty beaten up. One tower down. One severely injured. One of our soldiers down to a single hit point. I'm on the move. Watching comes naturally. We're almost out of consumables as well. And cooldowns. We have no more restealth. All we have is a banish, and I want to use that for the gatekeeper in the hopes of actually dealing some nice damage to it. My life is in your hands. Ooh. 
That's a perfect cluster for a grenade. Or for a Berserker Enrage. Which of course does not happen. Let's continue with the mech. Okay, over here I can still see them and it's unlikely that they will move into this direction. I don't know from where exactly they are being shot at and for the next five six rounds just how the AI works it'll start exploring in the near proximity until it finally will get the knowledge or use the knowledge where we are to its advantage. 20% on a heavy mech. I know this here sounds or might seem desperate but what am I supposed to do? Run into 150 hit points? No. Of course not. We got a Spectre here and two Archons. That in itself is a hunt is 75 hit points. The mech, 21 hit points, 6 hit points, so yeah, and almost 150 hit points. Oh, purify, yeah, there you go, 150. On average, one out of five or one out of four for this turret here should hit. We so far are clearly below uh, below average. Well, that was the first hit. Good. This time it is switching positions. And these guys are coming back in, basically offering themselves as targets, I suppose. It's a 40% chance. Come on, hit him. Very nice. Slowly but surely grinding him down. We can kill him next turn. I just really don't want to lose our cover. I realize there are more attractive ways of playing this, i.e. like more aggressive going in. But at the same time, please realize uh, that those are not always the most efficient ways of doing it. Those guys here want to be triggered, so got to be very careful.
Yep, 50% chance to trigger them. 55% chance to trigger, uh, to hit them. Not only to trigger them, to hit them. Nice crit, 10 damage. Of course they are moving in. Interesting, we even scored a hit. Okay, the Spectre is definitely the most dangerous foe here. I don't know yet, I feel we might want to, instead of taking a shot here, just want to go back. Certainly could move up to here, okay. Kill him. Back into full cover, untouchable. Let both of them come. Ah, the... Mech is unpredictable. It could use rockets and then take away our cover, so we would stand in the open. No, 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 we're not going to do that. Standing up here, this would be an almost uh, ensured kill. Are we going to waste rapid fire? I actually would want to use it otherwise. We're in full cover. On the other hand, let's just reload and kill this guy from here. Didn't work out, shit happens. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Being in full cover makes me feel way more secure. This guy needs to double move to even get to us. Same here. Double movement all around. This time even killing him. So now we're down to two. And they haven't even spotted us out yet. <laughs> Give me time to reload. Good rhythm. Okay, can we, yeah, we can, can even get to here without triggering the other two. Well, hey, hey there, buddy. Greetings. Two more to go. And they are charging in. Somewhat. Okay. 
I think I can take them. Of course, he dodges. Shit. Well, I did not get the kill, which means we're in a bit of a sticky situation here. We're not getting much out of more weapon range. So that's a secured kill if we hit. We gotta do it elsewise, the ranger takes too much damage. Okay, perfect. We've unfortunately not gotten the untouchable. He's, he just killed one of our towers here. Yeah, that's lamentable. Okay, might as well use the tower. He already acts as if he would be dead. Well, we got ourselves an Alarium core. Okay, that leaves one pack. Good. Second tower killed. Our defense matrix is down to two. This mission is a nail biter. I go where I'm needed. Okay, we have one more pack, and that pack is massive. It's the gatekeeper one. I definitely need the rapid shot for it, so we will need to wait a few turns. We've got to alpha strike it, and we've got to alpha strike it hard. Greedy can't bypass this opportunity. Must click remote start. Ooh, nice. Got a 7% chance to hit this guy. It's not a good chance, but it is a chance. Didn't work out, that's okay. Got a second turret here. Uh, 
zero uh, percent unfortunately is pretty much zero percent Could go in with run and gun. I don't want to leave it to chances. They are triggered anyways. Can't leave it to a chance. Hair trigger? No, just in placeable. Okay, if we move to here, that'll kill this guy. If, if you say so. Only problem is if the gatekeeper uses his gateway, he might kill. Well, he might kill us. Don't use gateway. Just try to leech. All right, untouchable. Missed everyone. That's good. That should trigger a blade. Um, oh, oh, that should have triggered. For the love of God, why didn't it? Seventeen percent on the purifier. Come on, just one hit, buddy. That's all I'm asking for, the one hit. Okay, got two more shots. Nope, don't have two more shots. Okay, we're on our own. And we gotta figure out a way to deal with that pack. Should have waited for the rapid fire one. That's 11 hit points, 7, 12, 12 hit points. So either full damage or a crit, which is over an 80% chance that we insta kill this guy. Very nice. Looked like a charm. Moving to here. For the blade storm. Fresh ammo. Hmm. Gotta hit all three of the shots. Don't think that that's going to happen. Going to do it next round. It's too dangerous this round. And we do have untouchable, so we should be fine. Finally getting it a little bit further down. That's immune, untouchable. And now all we need to do is basically blade storm. Where's the blade storm? Where is the blade storm? <clears throat> I don't get it. Where is the blade storm?
We are attacking. There is no way back. Certainly not giving up. Implaceable. And untouchable. Okay. Remote start won't solve this case. We have no high ground here. Once it gets its defense down, we can attack it. We've got one more round of untouchable. Alright, shell is open, now or never. Weapon proximity, almost as high as it can get. I go where I am needed. Now weapon proximity is definitely as high as it gets. And here we go. Oh fuck, I forgot it explodes. Ooh. Oh, she's bleeding out. Oh my gosh. Totally my bad. I forgot I forgot that it was exploding for two uh, for two fields. Ah <sighs> So close <sighs> Mistakes were made, I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Okay, the bleeding out part, by the way, on a kernel level is 80% to, to not die instantly. So that piece, that was, that was not the problem of uh, the entire uh, run. Also, we won the mission at this point, so there was no problem, with, even if we would have lost the soldier. The really problematic part was oh, 31 days of wounded. The really problematic part was essentially getting completely steamrolled by that massive pack of uh, aliens, six aliens, and we didn't have any tower cover. And then we even got um, unlucky. Instead of a crit, uh, we got minimum damage against the Spectre, got Shadowbound revealed and almost killed. That almost costed us the entire campaign. Wow. Mind shield? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. We want a mind shield. Hmm. Okay. Whew. I'm still shaken. That last fight was beyond small of a margin. But hey, that's what you guys want to see, right? So, here we go. If I were to steamroll this, it wouldn't be sufficiently difficult. Uh, how about we're going with the Archon autopsy? More than happy to dispose of it once I filed my report. The product of an 
then we can upgrade the sniper and also the vector rifle. It was overall a pretty good eve uh, eventful month. She certainly has been knocked down. But he's now pl uh, planning to launch his assault, so that will suck. We gotta somehow counter the major breakthrough. And yep, we don't have the order yet that resets the Avatar project. Let's see, that's three more days. Overall, what do, ha uh, what do we have? We'll need to seek out new means of Reduce avatar progress, good. Facility lead is good. Counter chosen activity, yep, there we go. That's the first thing that we're going to do. I don't want to defend that again. I think this is a good moment to stop uh, because it, uh, we are we're going like over an hour on this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, if you are as hyped as I am about like the intensity of this campaign, leave a comment down below and cheer for Roby and our Reaper. That was a freaking close call, man. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and see you on the next episode. Bye bye.